Can you recall your first meeting with Adler or your exposure to him? I think the first time that I ever saw Adler was when he lectured. And then you saw this short man coming to the fore with the friendliest expression on his face that you can imagine and immediately starting to talk and he had a beautiful voice and it was absolutely silent so you could hear what he was saying very clearly and he presented what he had to say very logically, very much in sequence. He never had any notes. He always improvised. And uh, there was a tremendous applause. And then usually there was another hour of questions from everybody. And he was very generous with his time, very generous and had a tremendous amount of energy because he lectured in the mornings and the afternoons and in the evenings. And he immediately caught on to the type of audience he had. I heard him, of course, er every time he spoke, also in the universities for the students and for the faculties. And then he used a different choice of words than when he spoke for the general public. He adjusted his language to the type of people he saw in front of him. Hmm. So he could much, much more, uh, use much more theoretical language when he was talking for uh, students and professionals than when he was talking for lay people. And he did so. So he had enormous sensitivity Tremendous sensitivity. Individuals yeah. and groups. Yeah, caught people right away. And actually, that example was so strong that you couldn't help but try to follow that. Mm 